Hey, this is Tressa from Sewing and Things, and in this video we're doing the bow zipper fly for the Grady Pants Sew Along. You are going to need your two front pieces with your pocket of choice already sewn on, along with interfacing ironed on on your fly, as well as your fly extension with interfacing ironed on one half. So we are going to start off by finishing your fly extension on both pieces. So go ahead and do that and then we'll come back. With both of your fly extensions sewn, go ahead and place your shorts or pants right sides together. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and mark this center mark on your pants. And then we are going to mark 5 eighths of an inch from that line and continue down marking 5 eighths of an inch along this curve. So go ahead and do that. and then connect the dots. We're gonna sew a basting stitch along this line, switch to a regular stitch, back tack a couple times, and then sew with a regular stitch the rest of the way down. Let's so go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back. With our crotch sewn, we are now going to cut just under the fly extension, close but not through those stitches. And then we're going to finish the crotch curve with a serger or a zigzag stitch. So go ahead and do that and then we'll come back. With that finished, we're now going to open up our shorts and we're going to open up the fly extension and we're going to press everything over to the left. And then if you're sewing the jean style, you can go ahead and top stitch along this curve making sure that you're catching what we pressed. So go ahead and do that and then we'll come back. Once this has been pressed and top stitched, go ahead and grab your fly top stitch guide. And we are going to trace along the outside of it with either chalk or a fabric marker. Now we're gonna sew along this line so go ahead and do that and then we'll come back. With that top stitched, if you are doing the jean version, you can sew another line of top stitching one fourth of an inch inside from that first row. I find it helpful to mark that curve just because I think it's easier to sew that on the sewing machine when you can see where that line is. So go ahead and sew that if you're sewing the jean version and then we'll come back. So now we are going to take our fly extension and sew it with right sides together along this short slanted edge. So go ahead and sew that with a 1 fourth of an inch seam allowance and then we'll come back. With your fly extension sewn, we're going to turn it right side out. Make sure you poke out that corner and we're going to give it a nice press. So go ahead and do that and then we'll come back. Now you want to fold your pants right sides together. Make sure that fly extension is poking out. And we're going to take that fly shield and place it on top of our fly extension. I like to have the folded edge so it's covering the two rows of top stitching that we just did. And then we're going to sew along this edge with a 1 fourth of an inch seam allowance, you will be cutting the excess off. So go ahead and do that and then we'll come back. Now with that sewn on and any excess removed, we are now going to turn our pants over. Now we are going to sew the fly shield to the fly extension just inside of those basting stitches that we made earlier. So go ahead and do that and then we'll come back. We are now going to open our pants back up and sew some bar tacks along the top stitching to hold that fly shield in place. So go ahead and do that and then we'll come back. Once you've sewn on the bar tacks, you are welcome to sew a second row of top stitching along the crotch. So go ahead and do that and then we'll come back. Once that additional top stitching is done, you can go ahead and remove those basting stitches. 
Once those basting stitches have been removed, you should have a functional faux fly. To stay up to date on the latest videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel or you can check out my blog at sewinginthings.com.